Hello, welcome to Orphan Espresso. I'm Doug. I'm Barb. And I'm going to show you how to clean the, the, the OE Lido 2 hand coffee grinder. Uh, we've uh, described it in the instructions, if you've read the instructions, which most people don't, but let's say you have and you've seen the part about how we say certain things to do. And uh, to clean the grinder is that the, the simplest thing, and we've provided the tool, is you remove the handle and set it aside. And as you see, this grinder is completely clean since it's new, it's never been used. That's the first step. Then off comes the, the inner mechanism, okay? It's held on by that washer. Now, this, is, this would be your first stage of cleaning would be... And the part that you removed is the adjustment ring. I removed the adjustment ring, which pulls out the, the inner burr. Okay. Okay. Now, we've taken this, we, we brush this, we clean it, and, and get in here and clean the threads with your brush and, and uh, a little blower or, you know, whatever you need to do. Now you set this aside. Now you have this mechanism left. You'll be able to clean in the burr. You'll be able to reach in here with a soft cloth and, and, and wipe around here. If you wish, you can remove these four screws and that, this opens up the entire uh, top of the grinder to get in with a soft cloth and, and clean. Um, don't put it in the dishwasher? No dishwasher. Uh, not that I don't, I don't know if it would be hurt. But I, I don't know, but I don't have a dishwasher, so I couldn't, I couldn't tell it. you if it... Yes, you do. <laughs> Well, Sorry. you do some of the dishes, <laughs> I, and I, I do some yeah. of the dishes. <laughs> we, we have a mutual dishwashing. Yes. System. Well, okay. All right. Now, let's say you want to go a little farther, and you might just really want to wash this in dish detergent, but you do need to remove the burr. So we'll, we'll get into that. You loosen and remove these four screws here. And... Now, by the way, this has been a very good tool. This thing, I have used this same one so much, and, yes. and the tip doesn't wear out. It's a good tool. It's a good company. Okay, now, you see what we have here is the burr. Now, what you want to do is mark it. So you make sure you're going to put it back in in the same orientation. You just put a little mark on it. Okay, that way if you take the burr out, which it's just sitting there, and if you take it out and clean it and whatever you're going to do, you can put it back in in the same orientation. All right, that's what we want to really point out here. Now, to, to reassemble the grinder, you're going to be doing two things. You're going to be aligning, uh, making sure the bearings, the two bearings are in alignment. And by the way, it's, where's this other famous bearing that we always keep talking about? The second bearing is in here below the little safety washer. There is the second bearing, right in here. Now you can see that, that this is a, an oil light bearing and it does self-lubricate. This piece right here, this is a, 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 friction, a frictionless washer that goes in here and makes a nice smooth movement. So we'll just do it this way. Now that I've got that apart, we see. <laughs> the adjustment rings threads back onto the threads bird carrier. On now I put that on with my mark. Oops, oops, I set this in place. Now I put this on with my mark. Okay, now we take this, and this has a little square key. Square key, a rectangular key, rectangular key. This, the grind indicator goes below the logo the words the words and grind indicator and the key is right in here now we start these as you see see how clean it is good I did job a good, I did a good job on that this is the julia child effect in a way Oh now, yeah, the part where she had the entire dinner the, in the, the oven chicken. already. Okay, I, I'm putting my fingers on this, the lower flange of the hopper. That way I can f just feel when it touches. Now I go back about a half a turn. I go down. Okay, can you see that? Can you get a close-up to see that, Barb? See how that 
it just when it touches that movement you can feel you can feel it sooner than you can see it so I go up I feel it and I back off see I, I want this to be loose loose but evenly applied oh that was kind of a tight one for whatever reason some of these there it goes I had a little hitch in it back it off and back off see so that's loose now I put my handle back on because it does you can use the handle as an assembly tool I'm not using my usual power are you powerless? I'm powerless I'm going to going to use the tool that you have at your disposal. You want this one fairly tight. See when you see, that's kind of the key. When you when you use this wrench, just push it over to the side and it comes right out. Okay? Now, make sure this is is down somewhat. So remember the washer's gone, so this one will move up and down. So check to make sure your, your bearings are nice and free. The axle is nice and free in the bearing. You pull up. Turn over. All right. Now I'm holding it like this. Now you're checking to make sure your burrs are aligned. Okay. I take this on one while it's upside down. And I tighten one. Okay. Now I turn it back over. And I go around. I, this is the one I tighten here. So, tighten one. I go back to my original one and I check it to make sure it's tight. Now I go an X pattern and tighten the rest of them. All right. Make sure everything is still fine. There's no binding. And. Just feeling as you turn it around. And that little bit of squeak will go that away once squeak, coffee it's just, has been ground. Get your in coffee it. oil back on it, it'll be fine. Verify your zero, which this one's not marked yet, but you do that. Your safety washer goes back on the bottom. And there it is, it's all checked, cleaned, and ready to use. And ready to go back to service. Ready to use. So there it is. And that is your how to clean, thoroughly, completely clean your Lido 2 hand coffee grinder.